Well, new this morning, a family's longtime house in East St. Louis, it is destroyed. Happened overnight, a fire started in the vacant house next door, then it spread to their house. Fox News' Chris Renier live on scene with whether anyone was hurt and where the investigation stands this morning. Chris. Time, John. Good morning to both of you. Fortunately, no injuries being reported here. The two women who were in the occupied home, including one who uses a wheelchair, were able to get out safety safely. No firefighters hurt either. But this was a very destructive fire. Take a look at the damage left behind here. We are at 22nd Street and Henrietta not far from State Street here in East St. Louis. Some fire crews still on the scene here putting out hot spots. The light blue multi-story home there, that is the one which was occupied. The vacant home where authorities believe the fire started is immediately next door. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox over the scene here earlier. Firefighters getting the call about 440 this morning. The intensity of the fire was just too much for fire crews to keep it from spreading from the vacant home to the longtime home of the Vaughn family here in East St. Louis. 75-year-old Helen Vaughn lived in that home with her two adult children. Helen uses the wheelchair. Her daughter, Kali, was home with her when this happened. The fire alarm in the house woke up Kali. She realized what was happening and right away turned all of her efforts to getting her wheelchair-bound mom out of the house. Kali tells me the Housing Authority police from the East St. Louis Police Department helped her get her mom safely out of the home. Derek Burns, the chief of the East St. Louis Fire Department, says an investigation into a cause is underway. Burns tells me there were a couple of fires last night on the next street over from here. So he is now looking into whether there might be some sort of foul play at work in this area. Of course, it's suspicious in nature this close this time of the night. Uh, a vacant house with no power sources going in. Uh, it's going to always raise a red flag. So, yeah, this is this is something that needs to be looked at. And firefighters are doing just that now. You can still see a little bit of smoke rising from the burned out home here. Another vacant home on the other side of the vacant house where the fire started was also damaged by the flames. The investigation here still in its early stages this morning. For now, live in East St. Louis, Chris Renier, Fox News.